Artist and writer Rob Liefeld begins his very last assignment at Marvel by sending the Merc with a Mouth on a mission to retrieve priceless dragon eggs to smooth things over with the Nakatori clan. The mission, of course, doesn't go as planned. Let's talk about it in our review of Deadpool Team Up number one from Marvel Comics. See you in three. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Deadpool Team Up number one. You know, the big draw for Deadpool Team Up number one is the early announcement that this miniseries is not only Rob Liefeld's swan song for Deadpool, but his last work for Marvel ever. Does this first issue read like the greatest goodbye in Marvel Comics history? Well, it's safe to say that if you've ever read a written and drawn comic by Rob Liefeld, you're going to get exactly what you expect. Deadpool Team Up number one begins with Deadpool and Ral Dorn of the Dragon Riders confronting a very large and unfriendly dragon named Perselex demanding the return of dragon eggs that don't belong to Perselex. Perselex is unwilling to comply with demands from lowly humanoids, so begins spewing deadly dragon fire all over the cavern. If you've been hankering for Deadpool to team up with characters you haven't seen in a long while, this issue gives you all you can handle and more. Liefeld digs deep into the Marvel catalog to pull out characters you have either never heard of or haven't seen in decades. And for my money, that's a positive. The comic then switches to a flashback to show Deadpool and how he got into this mess. Deadpool got a little too friendly, just put in nicely, with a young woman who happens to be the daughter of Lord Yoshi, leader of the Nakatori clan. When Deadpool jumps out of a high-rise window and makes a hard landing on the street below to escape the pursuing Nakatori ninjas, he runs into Lady Anime, and she comes to him with an offer to help him out of his situation. If Deadpool can retrieve rare dragon eggs for Lord Yoshi, all will be forgiven. As unusual as the setup sounds, it makes perfect sense for Deadpool. Liefeld invents a scenario where Wade Wilson, what Deadpool, has to accomplish a deadly task for selfish reasons. And frankly, that setup works better for this character, a lot better than trying to backdoor in a noble cause or a chance to save the world by coincidence or happenstance. Deadpool works when he's being kind of a selfish jerk. In this case, Liefeld, of course, nails it. Later, Deadpool runs into a pair of Magia thugs at the rendezvous point for the same objective. In their case, the Magia want to keep the eggs out of the hands of New York City's worst mobsters, including Tombstone and Madame Mask. So Deadpool finds a little competition brewing. Suddenly, I'm going to say this name and I'm not sure I'm going to get it right, Baron Skakarakor, uh, what the hell, what kind of name is that? I don't know. He arrives on a winged dragon, also looking for the eggs. The dragon makes short, fiery work of the Magia thugs, but Wade runs for it and finds a helping hand in who we saw at the beginning of the issue, Ral Dorn, riding Dragon Man. Dorn wants his magic staff back from the Baron, and Wade wants to avoid getting charred to a crisp. When the fight seems evenly matched between the Baron, Deadpool, and Ral Dorn, the scales tip in the hero's favor when da -da -da, Wolverine shows up. And that's pretty much the issue. We do conclude with dragon fights, which are great, magic portals, which are even better, and an unwelcome greeting from a character from the world of Crystallium. Overall, this issue is pretty much everything you've come to expect from a Rive Liefeld comic. Liefeld's art is a hatching lover's dream with tight, athletic action, sharp figure work, and a wildly random but somehow entertaining series of plot developments. Is this the best Marvel comic ever? No. But it's designed simply to have fun, and on that count, it works. So let's talk about the positives and the negatives. What's great about Deadpool Team Up number one? As time goes by, fewer and fewer Marvel comic readers realize just how wide and deep Marvel's catalog of characters stretches. So hats off to Liefeld for mixing up the typical team-up model by choosing some obscure partners. Nobody, and I'm pretty sure nobody, expected Lady Anime to show up, or Ral Dorn, or Dragon Man as an example. Liefeld's pacing is quick, the dialogue is reasonably solid, and the simple plot makes sense at least at a high level. Okay, so what's not great about Deadpool Team Up number one? Admittedly, the appearances of several characters come out of nowhere with no context, setup, or explanation. It just ha seems to happen at random, just by coincidence, just to force it in and make it happen, because the script says so. Lady Anime just happened to be standing in front of Deadpool when he landed on the street. Two Magia thugs just happened to know a rendezvous meeting was happening at the docks. Ral Dorn and Baron Scamalama Ding Dong just happened to converge at the same time and place. To be fair, it's fun, but it's the kind of fun that works better if you just don't think about it too much, turn your brain off, and, and let the energy happen. Let's switch gears and talk about the art, which is probably what most of the people who pick up this issue are going to come for anyway. This issue is, unsurprisingly, quintessential Rob Liefeld from front to back. 
If you're a fan of Rob Liefeld's art style, you're getting exactly what you paid for. On a side note, Rob mentioned in a recent podcast that he can tell his art execution isn't quite what it used to be due to the normal changes that come with age and too many years at a drawing table. Frankly, there's no loss of quality in this issue. It looks great, and if he's slipping at all, you really can't tell. Final thoughts, what do we think about Deadpool team up number one? Sends Deadpool on a wild and somewhat random adventure to retrieve dragon eggs to get himself out of trouble. Rob Liefeld's art looks as good as ever, and the script is geared for wild fun from start to finish. That said, some of the plot developments range from mildly random to outrageously random. So it's best to turn off your brain before cracking the cover. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but you want to accept your expectations accordingly. Therefore, Deadpool team up number one earns a solid, I would say, 7.8 out of 10. If you're in the mood for wacky, fun adventures in quintessential Rob Liefeld style, this is it. But what do you think? Are you a Rob Liefeld fan? Give us a thumbs up if you are, and leave us a comment below with your hopes and dreams for what Project Liefeld should tackle next post-Marvel. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review and buy this comic to help support the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.